Okay, so I'm back and I have made three notebooks because we need four, so we're going to do the last one together. Now, I've made these all um, myself, so I just wanted to quickly show you I've rounded all of the corners and that is also attached. So we open this one up. Is this upside down or not? Hang on, I keep getting them upside down. <laughs> no, it's not. So, for example, in this one, I have got some square grid paper. Then I've got this like brown craft card. I've got dotted paper. Um, squared paper. Then I have got this cute like um, scent with love. I've got more like graph paper um, and so on and back to the beginning. And I think that looks really professional. And then just quickly this one, we've got the same kind of thing. Um, I've got some different paper in some brown I've even got some of this like fancy kind of foil paper and the last one I made we've got vellum in the front we've got some more fancy vellum in there and basically just following through now I said we've got a few options and we have so all that paper in there that you see what I've found online is a website where you can go on and print them all off for free. Okay, but whoever this guy is, he's got absolutely so many templates, all kinds of paper. This is just a small amount. I'll put the link in the description and it's fantastic. You can just go on, print off what you need and then just trim them down, which is what I have. So we've got different kinds. He's got all different kinds the little dotted paper, squares, all sorts, okay? So we have that now. I think that was the wrong way around, yeah. I thought they looked a bit faint. So yeah, you can print all them off and then of course you can then add in whatever you want. So like I've got again some of that pretty um, foil paper piece of vellum, some of this craft paper, whatever you want. So that is a way you can do it. Now to bind it together, I've used my long arm stapler because I have it. So, you know, I want to use it. Now, if you have one, just use that. If you don't, what else you can also do is once you are ready to bind it, you can just get like a large needle and some thread or elastic and you can just literally poke it in go back through come out and tie it in a knot so you could bind them that way and um, I have done it and it works fine and then you just have your little bit of twine or elastic in the middle you can do it that way so that's another option the last option is I found these on Amazon and it's these notebooks and I don't know what size they would be classed as. I think it might be A5. But all I do is I just go in and pop the little staples up. And then I just take them out and take out the pages I need. So there's lines, there's squares, there's plain, there's all kinds. And I think the £4 something for a pack of 10, which is pretty good because what I've done is instead of using the whole book as one of my notebooks, I've just took pages out, which is these here, and then I've just trimmed the size down to match so I can get a few different books out of one of these. Or you could just completely take the cover off, cut it down and just use the whole book is your traveller's notebook if you don't want to use your staple, a stapler or sewing the binding together. So there's loads of options and I'll put the links for the free graph paper and um, the links for these books and also the long arm stapler because 
this is I think it's brilliant and it takes a bit of time to get them right um I mean that one that that's not too bad they're pretty bang in the middle but it can take a while to get it right but I think this was only about 12 or 13 pound from Amazon they're not really that expensive sorry not Amazon eBay and the good thing is it goes through loads of paper because they're really heavy duty staples so it goes through all of them you know not a problem at all but I think they are pretty professional looking books there's nothing wrong with them at all so we are going to do it we've got one more to make and I've got all of my bits of paper ready and um, the cover as well I've, I've I like to staple the cover on than just having them loose so I've got the paper from those Amazon books which I've just cut down so what they need to measure is when they're flat they need to be nine and a half by seven and a half inches your cover needs to be ten inches by just a tiny little bit over seven and a half and then it's the same for all your other pieces just make them nine and a half by seven and a half and then it's just a case really of getting a few pieces at a time and then just folding them in half you don't have to score them just fold them in half okay and then just burnish them so i'm going to have two of these ones in and you can put in anything you want Okay, so that's what I've got now so sorry I forgot to fold the card the craft card and also the cover as well Okay. so now you just want to decide where you want your pieces so I am going to have my vellum at the front then I'm going to have these little notebook pages oh, I don't think I've cut them down yeah, I haven't cut them to seven and a half, but I will do that in a minute. Okay, and then I am going to have some square paper. Then I'm going to have this fancy like foil paper. Some square paper. some grid paper, the brown card and the dotted paper okay that's what I'm gonna have in mine then obviously the cover okay so you will have this now what you're gonna need is a couple of like clips of some sort couple of clips you're going to need a, a knife and a ruler now if you're going to use your stapler or whatever you're using to bind them what I do is just get the book like this so we know that all them are all in the middle okay like this just take your time and make sure you try to get them all so they're bending in the middle like that. Then take your clip and just clip that on, okay? Turn it to the other side. Now obviously I haven't cut my paper down yet, but I sh you really should all first, but it's okay, we'll just still do it. Again, make sure we're the same. 
and then just clip that together and then when you're happy with that you can put these down now if you're going to get your needle and thread or needle and twine whatever you use an elastic you would just poke your holes in and just stitch it together just a couple you could do three holes and just sew it so I'm going to use the stapler now I need to get this right so it's probably best if I do it off camera because otherwise it can take a while to get it where I want it but it's just a case of what I do is I'll try and show you in case you do have one or you're going to get one I don't know if you can see just there there is a tiny little green pencil mark and what I've done it's not focus on this camera what I've done is I have marked it with a permanent marker sorry I just kind of get it to focus there's just a little mark and I know that's where my staple comes out and that helps me get it in the right place okay so I'm gonna put these in and I'll be straight back okay so I have popped them in they're not too bad and um, that one's pretty good that one I've gone off a little bit but it's still okay I've trimmed the bit off so we open it we've got our vellum we've got our different papers we've got our card we've got all kinds of different papers and as I said I have put in what I want to put in and how I want it to look so that's what I love about these now as you can see you're going to need a glass mat if you have got one it's better if you have if you haven't just use a craft mat but it does make it easier you look down there now and you can see that it's just they're not really the same length and they're all a little bit shabby now what's wrong with this camera today and these ones are all the same length and they're really neat the corners are rounded so we need to do that now all I do is basically take a ruler now I just kind of know that I need to really be trimming to about there so I can't really say what it would be in um measurements i just know that i that i take about that much off and that seems to work so again you want a good sharp knife and just do it slowly don't try to do it all in one go because you'll rip the paper it'll end up all dog eared and horrible so it's going to take a few goes but it's fine so we're just going to start with the first one okay and then just keep going down and you'll see all the little bits coming off okay just keep going down until you think they are all And I just find that the glass mat is just easier because it slides over and then I think that's all done and there we go it's lovely and neat it's not dog eared it's all tidy and professional and that's how I do them so then I take a corner rounder I use my trusty X cut one I just do the cover separate and then these next pages I do about three at a time okay and just keep going around just do a few at a time And you will end up with a really professional book so yeah that's how I'm doing it I'll do the rest of that in a minute I'll not bore you with that 
so I'll finish this off and we'll get all these put in and then we've got a few pockets to make and then that's it done okay so all that's left to do now is um, pockets and things now I've gone ahead and done most of it and put the um, paper on because I know this is a long tutorial and I don't want to drag it out anymore um, but I'll have all the measurements on my blog so basically we're making like an envelope for the back which will go like that so this is eight and a half inches by five and a quarter and I've scored three sides at half an inch the top is three and a half inches by seven and a half and I've scored half an inch on the short side and the paper the paper measurements will be on my blog so we're going to take our notebook our base I mean and first of all I am going to just snip off these little corners Okay, and then I'm going to peel the backing off the tape okay and I'm going to turn it round I'm going to pop the sides over and then that will stick to there that will stick to there so you will end up with that okay and then this is going to go inside my um, folder and just press that down okay so you'll have like a decent size pocket there and then this bit here I am just going to snip these little just snip a bit like mitre them And then what, I, what we're going to do with this is we're going to slot it in here okay and then stick it down and that will create our little envelope okay and then I got these charms sent off um, a subscriber, Linda Eastman, I think. Linda, she's always comments on every video and she's such a lovely lady and she sent me a few lovely parcels now. So yeah, these were sent by Linda. So hello, Linda, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm going to just put a, <clears throat> a bit of super glue as well on because I don't want it to come off. I'm going to try and get it in the middle I just think it would look quite nice on there but that's not even the middle is it yeah that's not too bad that super glue is just amazing yeah I mean that's stuck solid already okay so that is that one done you can get all your little bits and bobs in there the front ones I have a piece which is five and a half by five and three quarters I've scored three sides at half an inch I have one which is five and three quarters by three and a half I believe yeah and I've scored three sides at half an inch Again, I am going to cut these little corners away. Okay, I'm going to peel the back in. And I'm going to do the same as what I did with the envelope pocket. I'm going to fold the sides in and then that will stick to the bottom. 
okay and then this is going to go kind of just just down here okay you can definitely fit some stuff in there and then this one is going to sit on the top of it which is just as well because I cut the paper too short there <laughs> and then I thought oh it's okay because you're not going to see it anyway because this is then going to sit on the top of it Oops. Oh, in the right place would help and I think oh, this pocket's slightly bigger on the bottom because I think I know what I've done. I've scored that the wrong way around and that's why the paper didn't fit. But hey, that's okay. I quite like that. So, oh God, I think we're finished. Absolutely in love with this though. This is beautiful. Now, I don't know if I, I put that on, but I also added some little charms. Um, I just popped them on with some elastic and then just tied it in a knot in the middle. So we've got our pocket there, we've got pockets here, we get stuff in there. Now we're going to put in our handmade notebooks. So we're going to find the middle and we're going to have a notebook in here. and the last one and here I mean you could put a little velcro dot or a magnet on there if you wanted to so it's a really thick heavy book now and I am just so happy with this. I think I'm addicted to making these. And that not that just beautiful? That would make a lovely gift. Now quickly for the front, I've got another one of them bows which I've cut out of that fabric stuff. And it just cuts it clean through. It's a steel rule die. It's unbranded, which it's from Ali, AliExpress. If I can find the link, I will. Obviously the more expensive than normal dies. But this is really thick and it just dropped out the die so absolutely love it and i've just glued it together with my fabric tack glue and then i am going to stick this on to the front of my album sorry it's not an album is it it's a traveler's notebook just hold that there for a little bit but yeah, so I know it's obviously a longer video, but I don't want to, I didn't want to just skip things because then people kind of do them. So what's the point? So I thought if I've, hopefully I've covered everything and this is gorgeous. It's really heavy as well. But yeah, absolutely love this. Really, really happy with how it's turned out. And I hope you will have a go because you don't really need to buy stuff for it. You can print those papers off, like I've said. We've all got scrapbook papers on. I did put some little corners on. Um, they're okay, but they haven't really gone flat, but never mind. So that's the one we made. Um, and then there's the one that I, that I did the first time. And then the is the adorable little mini one. So I will try and put as many links as I can find for the stuff I've used. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.